Welcome back to my food channel where I show you how to make very simple delicious dishes that anybody can do. So let's get started. These are your basic ingredients you're going to need in making a delicious fresh almond milk. Filtered water, fresh almonds, and honey. I'm going to put these ingredients together and make a delicious fresh almond milk. So let's get started. I'm going to be using two cups of fresh almonds. Then I'm going to pour cold filtered water, just enough to cover the almonds. Now our goal is, we're going to let it sit there so the almonds will absorb the cold water for 12 hours so the almonds will get nice and plump and soft. Now it's been 12 hours that I've had the almonds soaked in water. As you can see, they're very plumpy, very plump. I just want to remind you, do not drink the water. It'll make you sick. You just want to rinse it. And as you can see, the almonds are very plump 12 hours later, and they're more soft now. Now I got one cup of almonds. Doing one cup at a time. I also want to remind you that for every cup of almond, you want to add four cups of fresh, cold, filtered water. I'm just going to add a pinch, a pinch of salt, just a pinch, to bring out the flavor and everything. And about two tablespoons of honey. Just to give it a nice flavor. Now you could add cinnamon, vanilla, chocolate, whatever you want to add to your almond milk. And now we're just going to let it blend until it breaks up all the almonds. As you can see, the almonds are nice and milky-ish. The almonds broke down really well. Now we're just gonna separate the almond milk from the almond pulp. Okay, now we're just gonna pour the almond milk in the strainer. And as you can see, the almond meal is staying in the top and the almond milk is staying in the bottom. And we're gonna keep doing this until we separate the almond meal that stays in the top and the almond milk. We'll keep going into the bottom. These are the almonds that are left, the almond meal. Now you can put this on your cereal, your oatmeal. If you're cooking muffins, you can put it in your muffins. You can put, put it in the oven, let it get a little toasty, put it on your ice cream, yogurts. You can use it for many things. Another thing I would like to mention is the reason I combine honey with almond milk because it has a lot of health benefits. Now I just want to mention that make sure that you store your almond milk in any airtight container. Now I like to use these little jars and now we're just going to pour the almond milk. Now with four cups you can fill the jar. I'm going to pour myself a glass. Mmm, delicious. Delicious fresh almond milk. Anyway, I hope you enjoy my video and the ingredients and this is how you make almond milk. Now, if you want your almond milk 
to be more creamier, you can always add more almonds. So instead of adding a cup of almonds, you can add a cup and a half, but you still gotta add four cups of cold filtered water. So that's all you need to do. Just add more almonds and you have a more creamier almond milk. Make sure that you store the almond milk in the refrigerator. It should stay fresh for a good five days. I hope you enjoy my recipe. Thank you for watching and subscribing. And until next time.